Good evening. Good evening and welcome to Clinton Massey High School for our 2022 commencement ceremony. As we are about ready to begin, we would ask all of our guests tonight to please silence any technology devices, cell phones before we do get started. If you do have the possibility to condense any seating, as we do have some families still coming in, we would appreciate that. But we are ready to get started here in just a couple of minutes. Thank you so much for coming and supporting our students this evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The four of us are honored to present tonight's flags as we've all earned the rank of Eagle Scout. Color Guard, attention. Audience, please rise. Color Guard, forward march. Color guard, halt. Color guard, cross the colors. Color guard, post the colors. Audience, you may be seated. Good evening. Good evening to the Clinton Massey community, parents, alumni, Board of Education members, students, staff, honored guests, and distinguished graduates. Welcome to the 2022 Clinton Massey High School commencement ceremony. 
We gather this evening to applaud the efforts and the, and to recognize and applaud the efforts of these graduates as they celebrate this milestone accomplishment. As we do so, though, our thoughts and prayers are with those families locally, across the state, and around the nation, especially our friends and colleagues in Texas, who will never get the opportunity to experience a commencement ceremony with their children after the recent tragedy. Please join me by pausing in a moment of silence to reflect upon our blessings and join together to support those who are currently struggling. Thank you. Welcome again to our 2022 Clinton Massey High School commencement ceremony. Our evening will now continue with the band playing the alma mater of Clinton Massey High School.
Thank you, thank you. I'm live in the crowd. One more round of applause, please. We're about to do 22, we're holding them here. Graduates, please be seated as we welcome to the stage Ms. Layla Sherman to deliver our student welcome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the graduating class of 2022, I would like to, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of the families, friends, Board of Education members, administration, and staff of Clinton Massey Local Schools that are here with us today. We would like to express our gratitude to each of you for helping us get to this milestone. You have been there since the beginning, guiding us, helping us, and watching us grow. Thank you for the unconditional love and support. To my fellow graduates, it is a very bittersweet day. From kindergarten to senior year, most of us have grown up with one another, and just like that, we are leaving. I think most of us agree that we wouldn't have wanted it any other way. I can't wait to see what we will do and where we will go in the next chapter of our lives. Let's enjoy one more night together at CMHS as we celebrate our success as the class of 2022. Thank you, Layla, for providing us with that welcome. Next, we have our Pledge of Allegiance from Mr. Bryce Hensley. Would you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, following, or followed by the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Thank you. On this year's Memorial Day weekend, let us salute those who answered the call of duty and made the ultimate sacrifice for the United States of America. Let us also take a moment to recognize our veterans in attendance this evening. If you are a veteran that has served in any branch of the United States Armed Forces, if you would please stand to be recognized.
Please remain standing. Please remain standing as we ask that we also celebrate with our graduates at this time who are also making commitments after high school to confront the challenges of their generation. Graduates, if you are pursuing a military career after high school and have made that commitment, please stand to be recognized at this time. Thank you everyone for your service and thank you for your commitment, graduates. You may be seated. Next we will have our invocation from Mr. Braden Green. Let's pray. Dear God, I want to thank you for this day that we have all worked so hard for, uh, for the past 13 years. And thank you for our parents, teachers, administrators, cafeteria workers, and janitors, because without them, we would not be here today. Be with all of us as we go our separate ways, that we all stay true to your dreams, for your glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use our gifts wisely and in service of others. May you guide us as we all go into the next chapters of our lives and that we will celebrate this day that you have made. In your name I pray, amen. Thank you, Braden, for that invocation. Next, we will have our salutatory address given by Ms. Riley Wassum. Thank you for the introduction. I'm gonna be really, really honest. I am so nervous right now. Shaking in my boots a little. Um, my heart beating faster than ever before. Um, my friends know, public speaking, definitely so far out of my comfort zone. Um, definitely not something I consider my forte, but you know, we made it. So I think I did what any sane person would do in my situation to prepare. I watched an absurd amount of speeches and TED Talks on YouTube. TED Talks like the lessons, lectures, English teachers would make us watch and analyze them for um, uh, essays about psychology, science, anything under the sun that you could imagine. There's a TED Talk for it. Did any of the TED Talks that I watched have to do with public speaking? No. Did I watch hours of people explain what cryptocurrency is to me? Maybe. Regardless, I watched one TED Talk, and it was about Schrodinger's cat. Maybe you've heard of Schrodinger's cat. Um, it's the idea that you put a cat in a box, and the cat is simultaneously here and not here at the same time until you take the lid off the box and know for sure. Pretty popular in physics. Now, Schrodinger did more than just like not like cats. Uh, he created Schrodinger's equation, and it's one of the fundamentals of quantum mechanics. It's currently the closest thing we have that combines particles, waves, energy, essentially what we believe that the universe is made of, connects them all together in one. I promise I won't bore you with the details. We're graduating, hello. Um, but I think that's the fundamentals of math and physics. It's to find one thing, one equation, that connects everything together. It sounds crazy, doesn't sound real. What does it have to do with us being here today? I've tried to word this in different ways. Thought about it a lot. I kind of like how cheesy it sounds. But I think that Clint Massey is our equation. It's what connects us all together. Whether you've been here since kindergarten or you came here just last year, whether you have been at a trade school for the past two years or you've been online due to COVID or other reasons, your diploma is going to say Clint Massey on it, and I think it proves that you're a part of this community somehow. Maybe you're a part of our state-winning football team, or our award-winning band, or a cheerleader, or a swimmer, track star, chamber singer. Maybe you were in every activity you could have imagined. Maybe you didn't take part in any at all. You could have just made a classmate laugh one day, or just let someone borrow a pencil, because someone always inevitably needs one. Regardless of what part you played, 
or how big of a difference you think you made, every student sitting here is what made the class of 2022 the class of 2022. I've seen it and I've experienced it. I know every person here supports each other in a way that is unimaginable. And I think our class has the achievements to show for it. Now, this equation, this connection, it will follow us into our next destination on our path. You know, we'll all move on with our lives, go our different ways, take different roads. And I know that the community that we've built here as the class of 2022 will provide us the foundation to do the same in our next endeavors. I wanted to thank my friends and family, my parents for being the biggest supporters I could have ever asked for, my sister for inspiring me more than she knows. Um, thank you to every teacher, administrator, specifically the math and science departments. Um, I was a student aide for Mr. Rolfe, loved grading papers. Um, I feel like I should apologize to Mr. Phipps for always playing chess in his class. Um, <laughs> I wanted to give the biggest hand of gratitude to the band program here at Massey. Um, Mrs. McLean, Andrew, shout out to the saxophones. Um, this is, they made my high school experience. Um, it's where I spent most of my time and I can't thank them enough for everything they've done for, this, for me and for the school. And with that, I hope you liked my mini physics lesson. As we all continue on with our lives, I know that Clint will always have this place in common. Clint Massey will be our Schrodinger's equation. Thank you. Thank you, Riley, for stepping out of that comfort zone and sharing those inspiring thoughts. Outstanding job. Next, we will have two performances, both from our chamber singers.
Thank you to our chamber singers for both selections. Next will be our valedictorian address given by Miss Abigail Steed. Good evening, devoted faculty, beloved friends, families, and most importantly, my fellow classmates. We did it. We have finally reached the milestone of our lives that we have dreamed of since we were little. Ever since I was a little girl, I have started kindergarten with all of these children, and I've learned with them, I've grown with them, and I've made so many memories with them. Although I have been a student here at Clinton Massey for the past 13 years, the most important years for me have been the last four, high school. High school can be absolutely terrifying. It is nothing like the movies. However, it has molded us into the people that we are today. It has shown us our strengths, our weaknesses, inside the classroom as a student and outside in our society as an individual. All of the classes that we have taken and all of the teachers that we have had have influenced us into choosing career paths that we will pursue for the rest of our lives after this ceremony. Whether that career path be attending college, pursuing work in the trade world, joining our military, or even traveling the world, be proud of yourselves for, re for reaching this moment and be proud of each other. I want you all to take a moment to look to your left. All right, now look to your right. We may have just realized that some of us have not had personal connections with each other, the people that we've gone to school with for almost 13 years. I want you to look back to them and tell them that you are proud of them for making it to this moment. I want you to congratulate them because although high school seems like it is full of highs, there will always be lows. Okay. I did not expect a pandemic to be one of these lows, but it was. We went through this hardship as a class, as a student, and an individual. Some have left their hometowns and joined us in Clarksville, Ohio, after leaving their world of unknowns in the middle of the year, and some go through more than others could even imagine on a daily. No matter how big or small your challenges may seem, as I stand before you tonight, I want you all to know that I recognize you, and I support you through all the challenges that you have overcome. And I also recognize all of the milestones and achievements that you have reached along the way. As we go through life, we may realize that we do not re receive the recognition that we always deserve. Harry Styles once said, if you are happy doing what you're doing, then no one can tell you that, we're, that you are not successful. In our current and future lives, do not, not let a rank, person, title, or number define your amount of success in this world because, like Harry said, who cares? As I close this speech tonight, I want all of you to be so proud of all of your accomplishments that have brought you to this moment. We all live different lives and different stories, but at this one, we are all closing the same chapter together. Before I step off this stage, I would like to thank a few people that have influenced me and changed my life here at Clinton Massey. Riley, you have been one to push me to my limits, and I did not know I had them, and I would not be in this position and standing up here if it weren't for you pushing me. Ben Smith, you have been a great person to lab aid with in Mr. Farr's class, so you have made my time so enjoyable, even though you played video games the whole time. Don't let him fool you, he did. <laughs> Two teachers that I would like to recognize are Mr. Farr and Mr. Rolfe. They have influenced me to choose the career path I'm going on, and they have shown me the confidence that I have to pursue that career path. And last but not least, my best friend, Ashley. You have been by my side, inside and outside of the classroom, since we were little, but we have not gotten close until a few years ago. Um, I want to just thank you because I would not be the person I am today without you, and thank you for sticking by my side throughout the good and the bad. And with that, I would like to close this speech and one more congratulations to the class of 2022.
Thank you, Abby, for those thoughtful words. Can we get another round of applause, please, for both our valedictorian, Abby Steed, and our salutatorian, Riley Wassum. <laughs> Outstanding job, ladies. Next, we will have a performance from our Clinton Massey High School Band.
Thank you to our Clinton Massey High School Band under the direction of Mrs. Kristen McLean, also to our chamber singers under the direction of Mrs. Aaron Hales. One more round of applause, please, for all of our performers this evening. Next this evening, we'll have our presentation of the class gifts from Mr. Toby Hayes. Hi, I'm uh, Toby Hayes. I uh, went to Clinton Massey. I am the uh, Grand Chancellor of our class, uh, class of 2022. I don't know if you know, but uh, we're graduating this year. Uh, at this time, I would like to present to Mr. Baker with our class gifts. There he is. <laughs> Mr. Baker, on behalf of our class, we would like to give Clinton Massey Local Schools a portable sound system. And we would like to do donate the rest of our class funds to the class of 2023, hoping that they would have a successful senior year. Thank you, Toby, for that presentation. Thank you to the class of 2022 for your generosity and thoughtfulness. Before we present the class of 2022 and confer diplomas to them, I just wanted to point out a few of their accomplishments, their awards, and their honors. Abby touched on it earlier, and that is the doubt that surrounded this year, right? Before we started this year, looking back to where we were in August, masks, distancing, hand sanitizing, all of those things, there was a tremendous amount of doubt that surrounded this year. I challenged the students and the graduates the other day, how are you going to respond to doubt in life? Right? It's going to be part of it. We've all been doubted in our life. It's part of growing up. It's part of growing old, that there's always those skeptics, those that are hesitant out there, those people that want to see it proven to them before they believe it. This class has heard that doubt for years. They've lived through the doubt through the high school years of doubt, through the elementary years of doubt, and all they have done throughout all of those doubts is prove themselves to be highly successful. This perseverance, this grit, is what's going to carry these students through to their successes in life, but I'd like to congratulate them on silencing the doubts, and we'd like to give you some exhibits to prove that. In the arena of academic honors, let's take a moment to uh, recognize some of these accomplishments. If you are a graduating senior with the designation of summa cum laude, please stand. If, re, remain standing, please. Remain standing. If you're a senior with the designation of magna cum laude, please stand. Please stand. Please remain standing, everyone. Those seniors with the designation of cum laude, please stand. And those graduates with a designation of honors, please stand. All of these students have a 3.0 GPA or higher. Please remain standing. If you are a senior that is receiving an honors diploma, please stand. If you're a student, that, if you're a student receiving an associate's degree, please stand. All members of national, please remain standing, seniors. We're going to show you just how many in the academic arena are qualifying for these awards. If you're a National Honor Society or National Technical Honor Society member, please stand. If you've received your industry credential already for the workplace, please stand. Two more. If you have received a scholarship because of your academic performance, please stand. And then lastly, if you're a student that's been on the honor roll, we would ask you to please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see the academic abilities of this class are impressive. The test scores, the GPAs, the intellect is a resource that's going to take this class very, very far. One more round of applause for all of our academic honors. You may be seated. 
Let's turn our attention to the area of music and the arts. If you are a student that is graduating that received a superior rating for the first time ever in Clinton Massey High School band history, please stand. If you're a graduate that's received an excellent rating from the Ohio Music Education Association, please stand as well. If you're part of the winter percussion, first or third place teams at the circuit finals, please stand. If you've received a superior or an excellent rating at the solo and ensemble, please stand. If you've been selected to a state or national honor band, please stand. If you've represented Clint Massey at the Rose Bowl or any other bowl game performance this year, please stand. If you've been recognized as an All-State Art Award winner, please stand. If you've been a recipient of the People's Choice Award for your artwork before or had it displayed at the United States Capitol or Ohio State House, please stand. And lastly, if you performed or submitted artwork for display at the Fine Arts Festival this year, please stand. To the Clinton Massey community, when this class was doubted or questioned as to what kind of year or talent or ability level was going to be present that these students have, it's on display for us right here in front of you. One more round of applause, please, for all of our art and music recognitions. You may be seated. In our athletic recognition category, if you are a national qualifier, a state champion, a state qualifier, or an all-state recognition, please stand. If you've rolled a perfect game before, or almost two, please stand. If you have tied or broken a school record, league record, district record, or state record, please stand. If you were an all-league selection, please stand. If you've signed to participate in athletics at the collegiate level, please stand. If you participate in at least one athletic season during this school year, please stand. <laughs> Folks, as you can see, when this group was doubted in the athletic arena, what did they do? They called time out. They went for two. That's what they do. One more round of applause, please, for this group of 2022 graduates. You may be seated. Community, while these students make up about 10% of our community, they make up 100% of our community's future. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Stay classy, Clinton Massey. Be smart, be safe, and let's make it official. Steed. Abigail Steed.
Riley Wassum. Sarah Norton. Ethan Johnson. Colton Trampler. Brady Lyle. Nicholas Sherman. Lissy Muterspa. Kaylee Cook. Caleb Miller. Layla Sherman. Toby Hayes. Bryce Hensley. Braden Green. Braden Adams. Cole Adams. Vanessa Asher. Gavin Avey. Brett Bailey. Bree Wolf. Lauren Baker. Cheyenne Bear. Cody Barrett. Elena Bayless. Tristan Billman. Jesse Bishop. Samantha Bowman. Kiera Brightman. Abigail Broglin. Joel Brothers. Allison.
Brown. Ashton Campbell. Jacob Campbell. Michaela Christensen. Megan Christensen. Dawson Conley. Abigail Coy. Jacob Christenberry. Shelby Danbury. Josiah Doherty. Ashley Doyle. Kayla Drake. Angelia Elliott. Luke Engelhardt. Carter Uten. Chloe Filipkowski. Carter Frank. Caitlin Franklin. Hannah Gerard. Isabella Gross. Madison Gudorf. India Geiselman. Charlie Hale. Marie Harner. Brecken Harner. Taylor Harris. Ethan Hathaway. Connor Hensley. Blake Ireland. Austin Jacobs. Emily Jett. Cole Johnston. Alexander Jones. Garrett Carnes. Yeah. 
Ronald Kinser. Kylie Lamb. Caitlin LeMay. Luke Lentini. Victoria Lins. Lauren Logsden. Oleg Luce. Dalen Maple. William Marler. Matthew Martin. Elizabeth Mason. Evan McAllister. Ryan McDonald. Keegan Magori. <laughs> Catherine McGinnis. <laughs> Madison McGuire. Ruben Mobley. Grant Mormon. Anthony Morris. Colton Myers. <laughs> Lauren Myers. <laughs> Garrett Newkirk. Landon Parsons. <laughs> Juliana Parti. <laughs> Nathaniel Patrick. Riley Pelcha. <laughs> Isabel Phelps. <laughs> Brian.
Bryant Pinkerton. Cole Plyman. Brian Poston. Lauren Potts. Miley Powell. Jaden Pridemore. Giovanna Rebellato. Sierra Reese. Zachary Reeves. Cassie Renner. Maggie Reinhardt. KJ Robinette. Kenley Robinson. Jamie Rogers. Braden Rolf. William Russell. Jocelyn Sanders. Ethan Saylor. Emma Shell. Delaney Schneider. Lane Schulz. Travis Scott. Hannah Slatten. Benjamin Smith. Caden Smith. Nathan Smith. Travis Smith. Jack Stanley. London Sweeney.
Colin Swope. Jocelyn Taylor. Olivia Feskin. Christina Tidwell. Serenity Tobin. Carmela Uturo. Carson Van Hoos. Garrett Vance. Joseph Vance. Corbin Vance. Layla Vineyard. Jonathan Weatherford. Nathan Wildermuth. Ethan Williams. Hunter Wilson. Holly Young. Cody Zantini. Tyler Keck. Kylie Hall. To the Clinton Massey Board of Education, staff, parents, and community, it's my honor and privilege to present to you the Clinton Massey High School Class of 2022. One more round of applause, come on. I think we've got to stand up one time for this class and everything that they've done. We're going to make it publicly official by turning the tassel from the right to the left at this time, please. 
signifying that you are now officially a graduate from Clinton Massey High School. Congratulations again. Next, we welcome Miss Lissy Muterspaul to the stage for our closing and benediction. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, staff, and most importantly, a special good evening to the Clinton Massey High School graduating class of 2022. Congratulations, everybody, obviously. <laughs> Um, so when I found out that I was going to be giving the closing speech uh, at graduation, I'm not going to lie, I had no idea what to say. Um, and I still mm, kind of don't. I have it written down, but we'll see how that goes. So after a lot of thought, probably a little bit too much thought, because I was definitely late for this deadline, so sorry about that, Miss Sewer, wherever you are, um, I came to the conclusion that there was really only one thing that I could leave you with, and that is simply to be kind. As you go forth into this world, I urge you all to take those extra couple of moments to show kindness and compassion to your fellow human beings. Kindness, love, and respect will take you farther in this life than anything else. The least we can do in this world is to lessen the load because there is already so much ugly. It's the least that we can do. To my class of 2022, I wish each and every one of you the absolute best that life has to offer. I know that all of you can and will go on to achieve great things. I'm so incredibly proud of you. In case people haven't told you that enough over the past couple of weeks, I'm sure they have. I'm very, very proud of you. After many years of time, dedication, and hard work, it's time for us to leave the nest. So with that, I wish you good luck. And as always, go Falcons. At this time, if everyone could please stand, bow your head, and close your eyes, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful evening. We come together today to ask you to just bless these graduates as we go out into the world. Lord, I pray that you, pray that you would bless their lives and keep their eyes fixed on you. Please keep everyone safe on this newfound journey. In your name we pray, amen. All right, everybody, you know what time it is. On the count of three, we're going to toss our caps to uh, congratulate this amazing moment. All right? One, two, three. Thank you, Lissy. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you for everybody being here to support our students. Have a great Memorial Day weekend.